Hello, everyone! Welcome back to this game! Yep. Here we go. So, Chip. Ready to do your job? Ooh, he's a big boy. Why are you surprised? This happens every time you try to summon an evil entity. They always turn against you. Incidentally, this world has a lot of evil entities. Wait. What? Oh. Run, Chip. So that's why he doesn't turn into a werehog in any other games. Seven it lights of the earth rekindle. Cool. What does this do for us? Is, is he building a transformer? Megazord? He's building a Megazord. He's, to he's totally building a Megazord. What? A Temple Megazord. Okay, I did not see that coming. Well, no, no, I, I, no, I did not. I knew, I, I expected us to go supersonic, not, um, th this, okay, sure. Um, are, are we playing Rock and Sock and Robots? Left stick left, dodge left. Dodge right, dodge back. Okay, sure. Left punch and right punch, so kind of still like unleashed. This is totally rock and sock em. I can punch faster than you. Oop. I see what that we're doing. Well, I have 10 lives to try this. I feel like if I lose though... I won't have to worry about too much. Uh, I, I won't have to worry about doing everything else. Oh, hold on a sec.
Yeah, I kind of figured we'd have to start the whole fight over, but we don't have to go through the previous battles, I'm sure. Uh, remember, I can dodge other directions. It's just a question of what is the benefit of dodging these other directions. There we go. Now I got it. That's the wrong way. Phase two? Or was that it? Was that it? Oh boy. Big finale, okay. Oop. You, f you, you tricked me, game. You made me think I needed to dodge towards the rings. Nice that we get one. Oh, gosh. Look at the big guy in the bell. Gosh. I pay more attention to where I'm going, please. Beerfor says next fight is King Hippo. <laughs> By the way, I have never played Punch Out. Not that I'm really that interested in it either. Games look interesting, but I'm, I'm so used to Werehog already that I'm trying to double tap to run. Hold on a sec. Pay attention. That's good. What now? Ooh. That had to hurt. Oh, I just realized... Wait, never mind. How was I supposed to deal with that, I wonder? So if I get a game over here... Well, I have to do the Rock'em Sock'em again. Boy, I'm taking a beating. Watch out for those things. They'll just shoot wherever they feel like. I don't have to worry about doing this fast. Although, just watch. There's going to be a... There's going to be, um... Still some medals to obtain for getting S ranking. I can see that timer up there. So, this is a kind of a lengthy final battle. But you know what? This is fine. I had some fun fighting Robotnik. I had some fun with Rock'em uh, Rock Punch'em robot thing. And now we get to finish off with some Daylight Sonic. It's too bad that he doesn't actually keep the Werehog ability. And that's kind of got sucked back into Dark Gaia.
Would have been interesting if this wound up being a gameplay mechanic in further games. I was trying to slide, but it interpreted as a drift. Oh, you got an eye up there? Huh. Oh, did I win? That doesn't look like winning. as the Gaia manuscripts foretold, and the world shall be plunged into the dark of night, the dark of destruction. Oh, that it should come to this. We're doomed. The planet is lost. That won't happen. There's no way Sonic will let it end like this. No, we didn't beat it. Uh, what do you think it's like having giant mouths on the side of your cheeks? Oh, what? Oh, gosh, it's turning into Piccolo. some supersonic. Let's do it. By the way, remember when supersonic was a reward and not just the MacGuffin for the final battle? Considering how hard it was to get supersonic as a reward, I'm okay with it being a MacGuffin. Attack now. And the boost gauge at the bottom left will fill up. When the gauge is full, press the X button for the supersonic boost. X button for boost. Press the L button or the R button to dash. Oh uh, boy. Where's some more rings? Okay, pay attention to which arm. There we go. Gotta dodge. And we're gonna hit every single eye, I'm betting. First the little ones. And then the big one will open up. If I had to guess. You were telling me to attack now. I was hitting the attack now button, but it was not attacking. It is a... It, I'm, I'm a little annoyed at how difficult it seems to find the rings that I needed. Dodgy, dodgy. 
Safe to say, I do not choose which eye I go after. There goes that. Eventually, I'll finally have the prompt to attack again. There it is. It's not as simple as gathering the rings you need. You also have to wait until you get the prompt. Not entirely sure how to dodge that attack. Nope, no clue. Oh, the timer was still going, huh? Please show me more rings. No, not this, not this. I don't know how to dodge it. How do you dodge that? Oh, I'm going to have to start the whole fight over. Darn it. It says to stay in the middle. Gotcha. Also, maybe I do get to choose the eye. I just have to get myself into position, kind of. Yeah, okay. That's what it is. I have to fly around him until I'm in a position to attack one of the eyes. Oh, hey, the timer got reset. Kinda. Oh, you need a certain amount of rings in order to start the attack. Obviously, but I mean, you use up rings whenever you do. Okay, got the three left eyes. Now let's go ahead and start heading to the right. Uh, middle? Not middle enough. Wait. It is a little touchy trying to get into the middle. So the meter to the right of the rings is how many charges I've got for attacks. Get over there, get over there, get over there. How does he not see me coming? Almost, almost. There we go. I would have liked to have had that information a little bit sooner. Definitely would have liked to have had that information a little bit sooner. Press the B button to do that. Can I do that at any point? Or only for the last phase? Hopefully, this will be the successful attempt. Get over there. Oh boy, nope. 
Wait, wait, wait. Well, not when I can't dodge that attack. I, that would be nice if I could, you know? Come on, I need to make this a successful attempt. I don't want to have to edit this for YouTube. No, wait. Finally. Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh boy. And you said press B in order to deflect attacks. Not sure which attack you mean specifically. Apparently not that. That is not the attack you meant. Probably that attack. However, I think I will settle for dodging it. Wait, don't go up. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Oh, come on! So the thing I noticed, by the way, there is a streak of light that it goes across the screen to let me know where he's going to hit. But a combination of panicking and, um, touchy controls makes stuff like this kind of difficult to dodge. Up. Up. And also, I need better reaction time, I think. Hurry up and get over there. I am thankful that he really likes to roar at me every time I hit him. It gives me an opportunity to move into position. Downside is I need to collect some rings before I hit the next eye. And I still haven't had a chance to attack the big eye in the middle. And you know I'm going to have to do that. Finally! That just leaves the big eye in the middle. And I also now know that it's a quick time event. Way up. Stay down. Oh, no, no. Wait. Right. Here. Here we go. Quick time event whenever he shoots the beam at me. Oh, I was watching for a beam. Darn it. Well, I'm down at the Lewis ranking. Oh, gosh, that was almost terrible. I see rings over here. Down! No! No! Oh! So it seems like he doesn't actually do the eye beam whenever I'm charging in. It's all about dodging the boulders. Looks like I'm going for the rightmost eye and failing. Wait. <sighs> you know if I get a game over, I'm gonna to have to go all the way back to Rock'em Sock'em. That says this time I got it, okay. I will hope that that is the case. You will be my good luck charm. My big 
green scaly good luck charm. Wait, uh, where are you attacking? Where are you attacking there? Okay. And then I just timed out. Lit! You weren't good luck enough! New plan. I'm just collecting all the rings. Build up my charge meter. Like Sek just said, because I kind of panicked. Because I felt like he was about to attack me. And it's like, no, please don't attack me. While I'm at it, I will also head all the way to the left eye. Grabbing these rings while I'm thinking about it. Darn it! I was trying to dodge away from it, but I dodged unnecessarily towards it. There's the left eye. Hit that one while I'm here. And then I will uh, grab some rings as I proceed off to the right. I wonder if I could have crashed on his claw. Right here. Down. Couldn't dodge. Wait, no you don't. Yes you do! The targeting went away. Down. No. Uh. Scary, scary space boulders in the middle of the planet. Go all the way to the right. No attack now. I don't want to deal with that particular attack. Good, I got the right eye. That means I can make my way towards the left to hit that next eye. This part... Definitely sucks. Okay, finally have another chance at the middle eye. I want to collect a decent amount of rings if I can help it. And that's why. No! Rings. Give me more rings. No! Darn it! Ah! No! Oh! Where do I start? The whole fight. Also, there's a challenge here. Reached the goal unscathed. You know what? Let's take a little break here. We're going on a break. Oh, how am I going to edit this at YouTube? 